Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial and in this one we do the boss rooms and why are boss rooms so important for video games. So as you can see we have just the, our little player going from left to right and then entering a new area which looks suspicious and we like <gasps> but then this enemy looks kind of lame. It's now like indication so that this actually is a very tough and dangerous enemy but we can do something like this. So what did actually happen? A few things. First of all, um, the camera, uh, which is my system, is focused on the player. But the focus jumped to this enemy. Then we had a little zoom in, so it, he becomes a little bit more, well, dominant. So you feel a little bit of tension. And then you have a blinking a red background with a blinking, well, danger uh, font or danger sprite. And then, of course, this little um, sound effect. Hopefully that was not too loud. I maybe have to cut it out, but I see about that. And that brings just um, the whole theme into more perspective. And this is how you can enhance and make things more, well, uh, more dangerously appearing or just more important. So because we have some stimulus, which is just telling you, yep, that is a different scenario, beware. This is one up indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Source and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every two days a video. And for now, I'm uploading every day. I'm just checking out if that is um, well boosting uh, my channel a little bit more. So let's get right into the meat of it. And what do we have? First of all, we have a few things. My danger well sprite and that is quite quite easy to create basically i just have like a text looks kind of flat it's i don't know what is it how big is it like 400 something but you can change that i use this comic font which is urbano which is quite nice to use and then i put in some effects over here and as you can see first of all a stroke so it looks a little bit more comic but that you can change of course then i have a cover uh, then i have a color overlay of red 60 percent and a gradient and this gradient um looks like this and then if you mix and match everything together you have this kind of almost professionally looking um font and then i save it as a png and then of course use it for the game and what is the core basically i have um two kind of three kind of things which are necessary for this setup the player on the left side the boss on the right side and then um, my camera system which is just zooming and making focus from here to there and for example once you go into a specific area then maybe you have a trigger and then you create an object which I call object danger rule and I just created on a mouse button, but here, for example, you can do something else. But that is just for simplicity reasons. So let's kill all that, so you know step by step what I am doing here. Is everything on? Yep, it is. So first of all, what do we need? I need a relative position because I will be doing a draw GUI of two things, which are. Uh, let me check no no yes here we go we draw two things into the room on our draw GUI which is first of all the thing which I showed you and then just a red block which is a red block and you just repeat that block a lot of times from the middle position on the center of your well your screen so you have a lot of times of that and then it just appears everywhere so let's get back here and for that we need a few parameters first of all where to place our well font or our um, well uh, sprite and then what kind of alpha to use because first of all we don't want it to be completely red if you would do it completely red like completely alpha one red overlay you wouldn't see anything then it would just look silly that's why 
we do a blink overlay with which I call alpha blink and that is gonna get used for our for both of those things so first of all we need to define where well, those middle positions and that I just get basically from a camera I just get the display but you have to get it well if you have a different uh, camera system from yours but then you know but you need to get those middle positions and for the font I don't want it to be completely to the center I want it to be a little bit higher so it's just one third in and not halfway and that's why or one fourth even so it's a little bit higher then I just draw them in there and the next thing is I want to use my ease function which I used a lot of times in my previous video so if you don't know what the ease function is just with it the, those ones link in the description and if you don't have a camera system well link in the description as well because I have a free camera system for you to use and abuse so as you can see I have my little um, alpha blink variable which I use for the alpha thing and then with my ease function I would just uh, toggle between 0 0.1 and 0 0.4 and it will just go between those two values in, in this kind of duration and then you have this effect that it's blinking but smoothly which I want and that's why we need of course our ease function to be shown in um, but and being used in the step event and that's why we fill our step event now with the ease function as you can see again this is the only thing which is going to get changed and with those two things uh, with the ease function and then well it's the same which i did, did in the other tutorials and because i want to do something else i need um besides the flashing and the drawing of those um to sprites I need a zoom in and that's why I need two things which I'm gonna add in here too first of all a timer so basically I don't want to zoom for infinity I just want to jump to the next um, uh, target which is the boss because now once the danger room has been created I just call the camera and say all right you have a new target it's not the player it's now the boss and well I want to zoom in for 30 seconds so what actually is the zooming um, that is something we do in the step event so once again we just um, well run down the timer and before it's reaching zero we want to zoom in but with the aspect ratio but not completely let's say with a lower aspect ratio but that is something you can change too, if you like if you use my camera system if not well you have to use your own system if you're having a, well a zoom function implemented and well because we don't want to uh, well do that for infinity we need to destroy it how can we destroy it well basically we have another timer which I put in here and once the timer runs down in our step event because here I have to initialize it and in our step event I put it in and it runs down and once it reaches zero then it destroys in 240 um, 280 yeah there's a few seconds so basically this is nice and everything works and because I wanted to do have a little bit more impact I use an sound effect which I initialize and loop it and for example I don't want to do everything for infinity that's why I use the time to destroy um, timer and that is a thing which is not even eff affecting the drawing but the alarm which I'm playing because um, sound effects don't completely stop you have to stop them manually. that's why once you destroy well your object you have to destroy your sound as well so it wouldn't be beeping all the time well and that was pretty much it hopefully that was uh, useful to you there are of course uh, multiple ways which games do that a lot of games for example well um, the danger font is just coming from the left to the right then it's blinking 
and then it goes back. Yeah, but there are multiple ways how you can do that and stylize it. But that is just so you understand how that stuff works in Game Maker Studio for, well, for a lot of games. Have a good one. One up in.